So I thought today we would just kind of like go through some of these great down home New Orleans dishes that I grew up with, like shrimp creole. We're going to do like a new fresh spin on it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this seafood stuffed artichokes and crab meat rabbit goat. These are things that I love to entertain with. Things that are best done in advance, okay. making it easy, you know, to entertain when when Wonderful. your guests come over. So, real fast, let's yeah. start this off. Hot pan, just a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. We've sa sauteed the shrimp just okay. for a moment. So let's go ahead and add some onions. And this is these are the, the shrimp creole ingredients, right? So onions, all the shrimp creole ingredients. Peppers. Just drop them all in, and this is how simple it is. Okay. A little bit of celery. All of this garlic. Uh, maybe half that much. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it spicy. So let's give that a okay. quick little stir. Okay. And so this is what we call the trinity. The trinity is all in there, and that's the onion, the garlic, and the celery. Mm -hmm. We love to throw in, um, I love to add just a little bit of uh, lemongrass. I mean, Ooh. smell this. It's oh, just, wow. Oh, it smells so, incredible. And that's just going to add mm, just another wow. layer of flavor. And so this isn't the heavy dish that my mom maybe used to make. Mm -hmm. No offense, mom. <laughs> but this is just going to be a lighter version. And these are tomatoes? Heirloom tomatoes. Beautiful. Sliced up. And then if you would add that bay mm -hmm. leaf mm -hmm. and a little bit of that just spice whole? right there. Yeah. OK. And what's this? And so that's, that's a little bit of allspice. OK. Ah. And some crushed chili flakes. Yum. That's going to add a little bit of heat. Sweet. And so I want this on high. We're just okay. going to like let this Bunker kind of down. stew okay. down just for a moment, right? OK. And if you wouldn't mind, I don't we'll go mind. ahead and just drop in the I shrimp. Don't mind. Now the shrimp Everybody are already like there. halfway cooked, so we'll just let those kind of heat through. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So as that's cooking, mm. I love this place. <laughs> All right, these shrimp are kind of like uh, just chopped up, and and what we're doing here is making a stuffing for this artichoke. Oh, so yum. in an effort to speed this along, I'm just going to add a little bit of crab meat. We love like shrimp and crab and everything in New Orleans. Yes. yes. Shrimp and, and crab in your oh, coffee. Did Scott say New Orleans right, by the way? No. Did Nolans. he say New Orleans? New Orleans. New Orleans. I love. As long as you don't say New Orleans. No, New Orleans. Orleans. Right. <laughs> okay, so we have a little bit of um, green onions, some crab meat, some shrimp, just mm -hmm. chopped up. It's delicious. A little bit of rabbit goat sauce. Think of this as like a really light vinaigrette, the same that we actually use in the crab dip that we have there that I call like wow. our, our crab meat maison. Now. Artichokes, we see them in the stores. What do you do with them? A lot of people are kind of in, intimidated by actually yes. cooking with them, but mm -hmm. these things are best, you know, kind of like prepared in advance. And so to prepare them, all I'll do is chop that off and using some kitchen shears. Oh, that's easy. Just kind of go around. <coughs> that's easy. Pardon me. Did you get some of the, uh, some of the spice in the air? I think I did. Beautiful spices. She's got kind of the powdered like sugar. Out. So what I want to do is basically just trim this little artichoke and open it up, drop it in some water, boiling water for about 10, 15 minutes, and that's what we have here. That's oh, brilliant. They end up looking I will like move this. this. Cool. Now, beautiful. We mm. already mixed all this good stuff in. Mm -hmm. I'll take some of these breadcrumbs, seasoned breadcrumbs, just a little bit of Parmesan cheese, okay, uh, and some olive oil. Mm. And then, this is the stuffing. And where do you stuff it exactly? You to just start stuffing the Oh, all up in just there. All, all up in there. I love that. All up all in up there. All up in there. Up in there. If there's an opening, yes, it's getting get all up in there. <laughs> I, I didn't want to go there, but. Yeah. We always if go there can, on the top. Yeah. Right? All those openings <laughs> go ahead. There okay, the between top. the leaves. Between the leaves. <laughs> it's just so stuff them between the leaves. Then we're going to bake these. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to bake them for about 15 minutes. And that is what we're going to do.